Good morning, pupils. This is Miss Comfort, your agri science auntie. How are you and how is the lockdown? I hope you're all staying safe and reading for your forthcoming common entrance and exams. I'm here to teach you this morning on the topic benefits of farming. First thing I want you to know is that benefit means what you gain from whatever you are doing. What you gain. Remember I said gain. What you gain from whatever you are doing okay as auntie is teaching you now you are benefiting from me so that you can know how to do it better than even auntie does then the objective of this lesson is that at the end of the lesson one you need to mention the benefits of farming two name three types of farming activities in your locality. Three, list some industrial materials that are products of farm benefits. Now, benefits of farming. You should know that farming creates opportunity to lift people out of poverty in a developing country. Or nation remember I said in a developing nation in this way farming can serve as a source of food we need food to keep us alive and healthy if there is no food we wouldn't have come around to teach you today so we need food to keep us alive and we need food all around the years so farmers are really trying to produce whatever they can produce to keep us going two farming as a source of employment so many people have gone into farming now i even want you to know that you can be a doctor and at the same time be a farmer yes all you need to do is to employ laborers that will work on your farm. And then make sure you have a farm manager, accountant, and a watch guard that will take care of the place. Then, number three, farming as a source of income. Farmers make much money. When I say much, plenty of money by selling their harvested product. Take for example, you have a poultry, a very big poultry, and you can imagine you have uh, layers in the, on that farm and they begin to lay egg. That's the first benefit you have. Those eggs, you sell them out, and at the end of the day, when they stop laying, you sell the chickens out too. Is that not double benefit? That is double benefit. So you can see farming is very interesting. Then, farming as a source of drugs. I want you to know that almost everything you are using comes from the farm. You can imagine, as a source of drug too, some plants are medicinal. Some people take them directly and they get healed. Some take them when they have been processed into drugs like vitamin C, paracetamol, um, etc. Even, you can see a picture there on your screen, the picture of a plant, aloe vera plant, which is very essential. Even now that we are told that there is um, COVID-19, you can use this as your hand sanitizer. There are ways you prepare it and use it as your hand sanitizer. Number five, you have farming as a source of industrial raw materials. 
farming serve as a source of industrial raw materials to many of our industries. They produce a lot of products from cotton, rubber, cola nuts, cassava, timber, palm kernel, sorghum, and sugarcane. We should know that from the cotton, what they produce from the cotton is thread and materials of the clothes you are putting on today. And then we have cola nuts, dye and medicine. That is what we get from cola nuts. We have cassava, you can get starch and cassava floor. We have timber, you can get furnitures, paper, boats. We have palm kernel, you can get oil from palm kernel. We have sorghum, you can get beer and baby food from sorghum. We have sugar cane, you can get sugar from sugar cane. And we have rubber. We can get tires, tubes, shoes, and rubber from rubber plants. You can see that most of the things you use comes from where? The farm. And then last thing, we have types of farming. The different types of farming include rearing of chicken, fish farming, rearing of sheep and goats, rearing of cattle and rabbits, vegetable farming, arable crop farming, tree crop farming. Thanks for listening and make sure you copy your note properly and endeavor to do your assignment. Thank you and God bless.